Hello, my name is Peter Bas from PBS Machinery and I'm here to present this tabletop version of the Extruder Pro. So it's based on version 1.2 of the Extruder Pro from Precious Plastics. Um, so it uses the same electronics box and same VFD, same motor and same extruder base and also the same hopper design, uh, only in the frame. Completely redesigned. This machine is powered by three phase power, uh, 400 volt in this case, and using a 16 ampere plug. Uh, the total maximum peak power for consumption is 3 kilowatt from the, from the motor and 1.8 kilowatt from the, uh, the heater bands, which makes it 4.8 kilowatts in total. This electronics box houses all the electrical components to uh, regulate the bell temperatures and supply power to the VFD. The VFD regulates the motor speed, so you can adjust it with that. Um, all the control components are on this front face for the, uh, the bell temperatures and for the VFD it's on this panel. So everything is on hand there. Uh, it's all mounted on a swiveling frame, so the angle of the angle of the electronics can be adjusted using index bolts for ergonomic power purposes. All of the barrel heaters, uh, thermocouples and the drive motors are fitted with plugs, so it can be easily disconnected from the electronics box. Also, there is an auxiliary plug uh, fitted on the electronics box, which can supply power to uh, external, uh, external things like a melt pressure sensor uh, or any other things which requires 220 volts and 50 hertz of power, AC. This is the motor which drives the extruder. So it's a 3 kilowatt motor and it's coupled to a gearbox. Uh, the gearbox reduces the speed from the motor and thereby increases the torque to a level where it's capable of extruding a broad range of also high viscosity polymers. And uh, the screw speed goes up to 270 RPM at 50 hertz of uh, frequency from the VFT. So this extruder comes with a universal 30mm uh, screw. It's the same design as for the original extruder Pro. Uh, so it has a feeding zone, compression zone and a metering zone designed in a multi purpose configuration. This is a length diameter uh, uh, ratio of 1 to 20. Uh, on the end of the screw there's an M12 threaded hole uh, which allows it to be fitted with uh, uh, different types of tips if required. So you can also uh, add mixing elements or just a regular tip, which comes as standard with it. Heating is divided into three zones with uh, heating elements covering the entire length of the barrel. Uh, it comes with bayonet type thermocouples and the temperature range goes up to 350 degrees Celsius. The bearing housing got a redesign. It's a two-part design now, which is bolted together. Um, this prevents distortion of the part during welding, uh, which ensures the bearing fitting precision and also allows me to fit the seals in a better way to ensure the position when grease is pumped into the housing. Uh, and also it's a shorter design now compared to the previous extruder pro design. So operation of the machine is pretty straightforward. So first of all, you will need a die or a mold uh, to uh, be installed in front of the machine on the nozzle. So uh, it has one inch pipe thread to fit the molds to and uh, it will seal on the back of the surface of the nozzle uh, to ensure leakage from plastic. So the machine can be switched on using the main switch in the side. So this will turn on the temperature controllers for the, for the barrel temperatures. So you can set it up using set and the arrow keys to the desired temperatures. And when the desired temperatures are set, you can switch on using this switch the, the heating. Uh, this LED indicates whether the heating is on or off. So now it will set power to the heating elements and it will start heating up the barrel. So allow, always allow the extruder to get up the temperature before starting on the motor. But you can, swap, you can start up the VFD now using this main switch. It will, can only get switched on when the heating is on. So the extruder is now up to temperature. I will add some plastic inside. And I already allowed it to uh, heat it through for a couple of minutes after it reached the set temperature. You have to do that to uh, ensure that all the plastic inside the barrel is molten too. So to start up the VFD, uh, you first have to switch on the VFD. 
I already did that. Uh, then you set the desired speed, if it is not. So it can range from 0 to 50 Hz. Uh, once you set the desired speed, you will switch this uh, switch to forward. And then the machine will start running. So this is the machine while running. So this was it for the quick overview for this tabletop extruder. So uh, please contact me for any more info on these details here. I'll put it here somewhere. And uh, for also for more information, go to the Precious Plastics Bazaar and also check for more purchasing options or other packages. Okay, see you later.